Hey y'all, come on in. Okay, so I attempted to show y'all my hair just before I started cooking dinner. That didn't work out. So when I look back at it, it wasn't there. So here's the hair, y'all. Platinum. It has grown some. Very pleased with the color. Um, I got to get used to um, to my hair being straight. So I think I'm going to keep it straight for a little while. So I thought I'd just come on and just show y'all just in case y'all got a glimpse and didn't know what was going on. I finally found someone that could actually uh, put the color in my hair like I wanted. Uh, my hair was started to yellow based on the color I had before. So here it is. So uh, just letting y'all see the new me for a little bit, a little while. I uh, hope you all will enjoy our Sunday dinner today. Like I said, I'm cooking something very, um, or I cooked something very uh, simple. Some um, burritos and tacos. The kids have all gone. The kitchen has settled down. So I'm sort of doing this on the back end, but I'm going to put it on the front end of the video. So uh, again, thank you all so much for um, continuing to support my channel and to encourage me and to pray for me uh, just so I understand how much uh, I appreciate that uh, each time that I uh, upload a video that you all give me so much support and feedback on it um, hope y'all had a God blessed Sunday hope you got a good week planned for this week uh, hoping that uh, everybody is safe and doing well the family is doing well um, just overall, continue, please, to pray without ceasing. Uh, continue to stand in the gap for one another as well as for me. And I do the same for you. So I just wanted to come on and say that because I, after I look back at the video, I told y'all I was showing you, you know, that I had, uh, I have new hair. So here it is for real. So anyway, love you guys. Until I decide to video again. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I uh, love you. Have a blessed evening. To Lou. Good Sunday evening, everybody. Come on in. It's time to cook Sunday dinner. Surprise, surprise. We're going to have Taco Sunday again today. We need to cook something short, sweet, and not... Uh, too easy but something that won't take a long time to cook so something's going to really taste great something that everybody loves of course everybody loves tacos and how about this one we're going to throw in some burritos as well so we're, it's going to be taco and burrito sunday i'm going to throw in some uh spicy rice i'm going to call it peggy spicy rice and I think we're going to make for a good dinner. And I'm probably going to chop up some lettuce and make a little bit of a green salad. So we're just going to have a laid back, leisurely dinner. It is so beautiful outside. It is nice and cool in the uh, high 60s, low 70s today. I have enjoyed this day tremendously. Also, to bring in the fall weather, your girl got her hair finally platinum. So... I'm platinum now, so hang on, I'm going to walk over here in front of the camera and let y'all get a um, little sneak peek at my hair, because um, I know when Tanya, she's going to get me when she gets here on her channel, but uh, hope that you all have been continuing to pray without ceasing and standing in the gap, because I tell you what, every day brings a new challenge, so we need to be on our job praying without ceasing thank y'all again as usual so much for praying with and for me thank y'all for standing in the gap and continue to pray without ceasing because you all know i can't say it enough it's what we need for these days for today and for the days to come so i'm gonna let y'all get a little look at my hair then i'm gonna get on with this dinner because it's getting late in the day y'all okay what y'all think My hair's grown out a little bit. I had it blown out instead of wearing it natural. So I wanted it to be a little bit different for a little while. So I'm a platinum again. My hair had yellowed so bad because the young lady worked with me yesterday until we got this platinum color. So hope y'all like it. I love it. Uh, she's going to tone it down a little bit for me later. But 
it's okay for now. So, anywho, I'm going to get back over here on the stove and get this meal going. Hope y'all having a God-blessed Sunday. And remember, always, we're going to pray without ceasing for everybody, for everything that's going on in life today. Okay, y'all, so let's get back over here on the stove and get this meal going. So, what I'm going to do first, I think, is go ahead and get this um, rice going. So, let's get the camera down on the stove where the rice is going to be cooked, of course. It's my pretty little old cornucopia pan and I'm going to use it today to cook rice and what I'm using is uh, three cups of water a cup and a half of rice and then I'm going to just chop whatever veggies I've got uh, to put in it so hang on a minute and we'll get that rice boiling got to get the water oh yeah there it is okay. the water is boiling so you know you got to boil the water first I'm going to go ahead I think and put all my seasons in the water then put the rice in and when it cooks everything will be right there so hang on just a second and I'll be right back okay y'all I'm back got all my ingredients ready now to go into my Peggy's spicy rice go along with uh, these tacos and burritos okay in here I've used my food processor to cut up three Campari uh, tomatoes they're the little small tomatoes and I use those because they have lots of flavor didn't want them, didn't want it too tomatoey, but I needed just that much in there. Um, half of a medium green pepper, uh, five of those little multicolored peppers. I just went ahead and put them all, and then a half of a medium sized onion. And all I did was just put them in there. And as you can see, they're pulverized now. So I'm going to go ahead and put them into my water that I've got boiling here. Okay, this rice is going to be yummy, y'all. Okay, got that going. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding in my dry ingredients. And remember, half of an onion, and everything is chopped all up together. Half of an onion, half of a small green pepper, five of those little multicolored peppers, and um, three of the three just small size tomatoes they're called Campari and because they're so flavorful is why I use them so I'm gonna go ahead and do me a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of garlic powder and I may come back with some of this with more of this in a second I don't know you know y'all know me you know you gotta get the flavor going because the secret is uh, this is a new one I just decided I was going to make my own version of spicy rice so then I'm going to do a teaspoon of this is my new seasoning that I'm using it's tones cilantro and lime so it'll have just a little hint of lime in there so that's going to bump that flavor up a little bit now that has a little bit of salt in it so as you notice I've not put any salt in there so far let's just stir that this is my Indian curry chicken flavored seasoning. Now that has a little salt content, so we're going to stir that around in there. And I'm not going to put any more salt, I don't think, in there. So look at that. That smells good enough to eat already. We don't even put the rice in. I'm going to get that to a rolling boil, and I'm going to add my rice to it, cover it, and let it cook. Now, this has become my new secret weapon, my green seasoning. Remember we did that last week so I'm gonna go ahead and drop me some green seasoning in there as well. So I got all of my seasoning. I got that water seasoned up wonderfully. Oh I'm about to forget the paprika. That's what's trying to give it that little flare. How about that? Let's go ahead and drop us a teaspoon of paprika. Wow. That rice is getting more interesting by the minute, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put just a little bit of heat in there. You know, y'all know me in hot food. I don't eat hot foods. You taste that? Yum, yum, yummy. I'm gonna put just a little bit of uh, crushed green peppers in there. I mean, crushed green, pe crushed red pepper. If I can find them. Well, as soon as I found my crushed red pepper, I'm going to put just a little bit of crushed red pepper in there. So I don't want to put too much. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? I didn't put my complete seasoning in there. I've got to put my complete seasoning. Y'all know how to put my complete seasoning in there. 
this is like that, that one season that you just have to put it in everything you cook, okay? All righty, and I'm going to put a half stick of butter, not a whole stick, but a half stick of butter. And I'm just going to put that rice in there, and I'm just going to let it go for what it knows, and we'll see what comes out to be when it's done. Okay, let's get my butter all done. Let's see coming right back out. Okay, this is that plant butter I was telling y'all about a while back, so I'm just going to drop it on there. In there, I'm letting everything cook on its own. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna let it go ahead and melt down and get it so that water will boil really, really well. And then we're gonna pull the rice in there, and that'll be our um, spicy rice. Spicy, spicy rice. My neighbors are they having a sweet 16 birthday party for my little neighbor girl. I've been knowing them since she was like a baby. I mean, she just grew up overnight, seemed like little Leisha. She is sweet 16, and she is so excited about her birthday party. I'm so excited for her. She has a, Her mom got her the most beautiful um, balloon set up over there. Put, this is a little more of that cilantro. Put a little bit more of that cilantro seasoning. I need that crushed red pepper. I don't know where I put. I don't know why it always hides from me every time. Um, I'm looking for the. It did for me last. Oh yeah, I got to put some black pepper in there as well. So let's put a half of a teaspoon of black pepper in there. Sorry, half teaspoon of black pepper. Oh, y'all know this is going to be good. This is almost like something you could put in a bowl and dip bread in it. This smells good, y'all. Okay. I think that butter has melted down enough. I'm going to go ahead now and put my rice in there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Just a minute, y'all. Just a minute. I was going to strain that rice out a little bit. Yeah, before you put your rice in this, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and wash that rice. I should have had, what I meant to have done was had it sitting off to the side. Um, get a little bit of that extra starch out. But I don't want it starchy, in other words. Okay, y'all. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and add. This is a cup and a half of rice. To, and it's three cups of water. Okay. okay. We're going to bring it to a real, real good boil. And then we're going to cover it. It's only going to take about 15 minutes to cook it. Yummy, yummy. I'm still got to find that. I don't know what in the world I did with the, um, I just don't know where I put it. I mean, last night it was here. Let's see. Make sure. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um. Had more of complete. I don't know. I think I only put one. I think I need another complete season. Okay. okay, it's about to get to the point where I need to just turn that heat down and let it cook. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I love it. Okay, we're going to cover it and let it boil like that for about a couple of minutes. Then we'll turn the heat all the way down and it will finish cooking by the steam. And what I did not put in there, 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it in there now, but we'll see once it gets done. I'll see if I need a little bit more salt and I'll put some of that chicken base in there. How's that? Okay, so okay, we got the rice going, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the um oh I've got some leftover where I made chili. This is what we're gonna top those burritos with, is this leftover chili. So I just gotta take it out, this frozen bag, heat it up, and we're gonna smother those burritos with it. Okay, now it's time to turn it down. It's popping your voice, it's time to turn it down. So now that rice is on its way to being done here shortly. Okay. In a few minutes, I'm going to lift that lid and stir it a little bit more because we don't want it to stick to the pan at all. So make sure you turn it all the way down so that we'll go ahead and cook. So now, what we got to do here is the, the easiest thing to do. I'm going to heat this uh, skillet here, put me a little bit of oil in there, and I'm going to go ahead and start browning my, y'all know I use ground turkey, and I'm going to season that real good with the taco seasonings and everything else I got over here. So here we go. Time to buy olive oil again, y'all. I got canola left. Got enough canola. I like to go to food, not food line, but I, I, I do like to go to food line, but I like to buy that um, olive oil from Sam's Club because they have the big ones for like 12 bucks for, um, I think it's like a half gallon, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to uh, get that pan heated up real good. And while that pan is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a cleanup. So hold on, y'all. Go ahead and get your ground beef out, get your rice out, and start putting everything together. So we want to eat these tacos together. Okay, y'all. Let's get this show back on the road and get this uh, ground turkey in the pan and get our turkey meat ready for tacos. So I'm going to be using, this is a one pound package, and then I've got another two and a half. So... We got three and a half pounds of turkey meat that I'm going to be using here today. And it's just a simple process, y'all. Get this grease hot. Let's get the package open. And y'all know I'm just going to put it right in there and let it begin to cook. And as it cooks and browns or beiges or whatever color it desires, we're going to just start putting the season in, but not until after we get everything browned up, okay? okay. This is my two and a half pound package right here, okay? And this is my one pound package. I want to make sure we have lots of taco meat to work with. Let's keep that heat up on high. And just let it cook, cook, cook. I think it doesn't really matter all that much, but I'm going to go ahead and start putting in that three and a half pounds of meat. So we're going to put uh, three teaspoons, one two, and three. That is onion powder. And we're going to put three garlic powder in there. Three of garlic. One, two, and the three. It's a lot of seasoning. has no salt, so it's good. We're, we're good. Okay? No salt at all in, in either one of those. Now we're going to put some paprika. It does not have any salt. So one, I'm going to put a couple in there, just two of the paprika, okay? You just sort of continue to brown up, brown up, brown up. So I'm making a mess, of course. Okay, I hope y'all got your uh, seasons out now and you are kind of getting ready to catch up with me, y'all. Now, I'm not going to put a lot of seasoning outside the seasoning packets because, you know, they have little packets, little taco seasoning packets, and I'm going to be using those because they have the authentic flavorings, which y'all do know that I'm going to put some of my own. I'm just going to use a teaspoon of my new 
a lot of those things in there. I'm not going to put a lot, okay? In fact, I'm going to hold the, uh, hold, see, yeah, I believe I'm going to hold the complete season today. I think, I think, man, this is going to work a lot. You know, when you become to, uh, be accustomed to a certain flavor, a certain way you want to taste your foods to taste, then you, you know, you kind of sort of want to add your extra, extra in there. But let me tell you, this taco meat, if you didn't have all those seasons, tastes okay with just what you buy from the store already fixed up or what comes with the, uh, but sometimes when you buy, in fact, I bought some shells and the uh, shells came with a package of taco season. That season is okay. It's good. It's wonderful. Get that off the stove. Perfectly good, but I just like to add my extra added. As long as you don't have any extra salt going in there, you know, you know you're doing okay. So, I'm starting to yeah, you can see that really good, 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 good. Okay. See how that rice is coming along. Yeah, it's cooking right along, right along, right along. Good, good. It's going to be ready here in about five or six minutes. All that water would have cooked, that cooked out of it. And it's going to be ready to eat. Out. Yeah, again, the chili that I'm going to be using today is going to be to... Um, you know how you make a burrito and then you put that chili on top of it and sprinkle some cheese on top of that? That's what we're going to do with the chili today. And that chili, I think I made it a couple of weeks ago. And I made a big pot, so I had a lot of it that I could put into the freezer. That's the beauty of um, freezing stuff. So I always like to make burritos, and I know I love chili on top of my burritos. That's the way I make those are my version of burritos. My kids always love them with lots of everything on it. So our ground turkey is getting there, y'all. It's getting there, it's getting there. In a few minutes I'm gonna go ahead and put that taco seasoning package in there and then I'll pour the water in, cover it, and let it sit simmer for about thirty minutes. See there's one packet. Let's go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead now. This is Food Line brand. Taco seasoning mix. One packet. This turkey meat is just about done now. It takes a good 15 minutes to get it all browned and, you know, get all the seasonings into it and everything like that. Oh, it smells wonderful too. Tastes even better. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other packet in here. You know what? This this one came out of the uh, came with the with the shells. So I'm gonna use this one, and I'll leave the one that's already marked with the name on it, so I'll know what it is when I put it up in the cabinet. So I'm just gonna be using two packages of this mixture. Okay. There it is. Now we're gonna stir that and I'm gonna see what else I need to put in there. I may need to put some complete seasoning in there. I may need to put some um, paprika in there. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Oh, it smells good, y'all. It's making me hungrier. I had a light breakfast this morning, so I'm getting hungrier by the minute. So. I'm going to let that heat start, continue to be on high. Because in a few minutes, I'm going to pour that water in. And we're going to turn it down and just let it simmer. Let's see what's happening here. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a little bit more. Oh, that's good. But I know when I pull the water in, that has a little kick. Something got a little kick to it. 
put me a tablespoon of complete seasoning in there, y'all. And I'm going to put me a little bit of um, paprika. A good teaspoon of paprika needs to go in there. Okay. That means all of the, the uh, juices have just about cooked out of this meat. So that means I need to get some water going in here. Let's see, oh, I already got water so good. I'm going to pour about a good cup of water. I think it cuts enough. I don't want it too juicy. I don't want it too loosey juicy. I think a cup. I think a packaging costs about a cup or so. So for this amount of cup, y'all just make it that much more tastier. And then what I'm going to do is turn the heat down and just let it cook. So there's your taco meat. Ready for your tacos and burritos. Okay. Now I'm just going to turn that heat all the way down. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to take about a half a cup of this taco meat and it's going into my rice. Okay, it's not about that. Let's get that rice, let's enhance that rice a little bit more. Okay, let's do that. And then let's do this. Okay, all the way on low, we're going to let it cook for a little bit. We'll get that taco meat stirred and shake that rice. This is going to enhance it. Y'all know me. It's got flavor. This is just about ready. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat from under it. Because that the liquid is just about gone in it. Okay. That'll just make that meat, that uh, rice a little bit more tasty. to have that little cup full of... Uh, that's why I cook so much meat. So I make sure that I have some to go in my rice. Okay. And like I said, make sure you keep it stirred now because you don't want it to stick. It'll stick a little bit, but you don't want it to burn nothing. And look, when you cook food like this, you don't want to have to scrape nothing off the bottom and throw it in the trash. You want all of it to go on the plate. Okay. About another five minutes, and I'm going to turn this heat off. And that season rice will be gone. That's my entertainment, y'all. I can't even describe how good it is. Whew, it's good, good, good. But just make sure you keep that heat all the way down on both. So both of them are now cooking on very low heat. The only other thing that I have to do at this point is to get my, uh, I've already chopped some onions. I've chopped some tomatoes. I'm going to chop some lettuce because the shredded lettuce I had went bad. So I've got to chop some uh, lettuce. I've got cheese already shredded. I'm going to try some um, this Taco Bell Baja sauce. That's good. Let's try that, that Baja sauce. We're going to try that on there. And of course, we're going to do some thick and chunky salsa. And I'm going to open some refried beans because sometimes, you know how you can sm smather, just take your um, burrito shell or your flour tortilla and spread those refried beans on there. Oh, that's good. So that's what, and then I'm going to use some, if anybody that wants to try my green sauce, we're going to do the green sauce. Oh, and, um, let's see. Okay, so we've got, you know, just a regular little soft taco shell. And we've got the big ones that we're going to use for burritos. And of course, these in here are our hard shells. So let me go ahead and get all the condiments together while the meat cooks. And I'll be right back. So y'all don't go away. Now just keep right on moving so you can get your food ready by the time I get my ready. As you can see, this is one of these quick, easy Sunday dinners. This is so wonderful, y'all, because the day is so breezy. Hopefully we can sit out on the back porch and eat. So... Y'all hang on a minute and I'll be right back. 
Hey y'all, everything is just about ready. As you know, that good old spicy rice is done. There it is, sitting right down there waiting for us to get it on the table. The taco meat is done. The taco burrito. I'm gonna roll some tacos and some burritos and I'll show you how I do my burrito. You know how you just fill taco shells. It's pretty straightforward. So let's make room here and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do this little quick green salad. Now this can be eaten as a salad or you can put it right onto your taco. So what I've done is shredded some lettuce. I got shredded lettuce. And what I do, a layer of shredded lettuce and I've got some, mozzarella, some shredded mozzarella cheese. Just sprinkle some of that in there like so. And then just take that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'm doing some um, chopped onions on there. Just not a lot, but just a few. I made this for myself the other night and just all I put on there was a little bit of ranch and some of that um, vinaigrette dressing and whoo, that was good to me. So we're gonna try this out today. Like I say, you can eat, just put it right onto your taco or, okay, let's put the, okay, the lettuce goes next. Okay, that's a layer. And what you do is just layer it back and forth, back and forth. So when you pick it up to eat it, you got some of everything in every bite. Not a lot. You don't need a lot, lot, lot. It's just good. That something about that mozzarella cheese in there. And it's a pretty good, it's a food line brand. Food line makes some good little stuff. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. Just to put a, not, not a lot of onion. And we're not gonna put any dressing on it right now. We just, cause you know the dressing will make it soggy. And the, we're gonna, the last layer of lettuce on there. It's just that simple. And that is gonna be our salad to go with this meal today. Okay, and I'm going to top it off with a little bit more. So it looks real green, 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 pretty and light green. And I will sprinkle it with a little bit of, uh, and I should have done it in between the layers. I forgot I had in my mind to sprinkle it with this uh, Tones Lime Cilantro. Because I think that will just make it real wonderful. Just sprinkle it on top since I didn't get it in between. That little lime that they got in that uh, cilantro smells really good. So that's just a nice little salad. You can shred some cucumbers and put on there. Any other kind of vegetable that you want. But for today, because of what we're eating, we're just going to do the lettuce, the cheese, the onions, and the cilantro. So there it is, y'all. Dinner is ready. Let me just go ahead and show you everything. Get this in the middle. kids are not here yet. I guess they'll be here around they're late today. Six-ish. I just got off the phone with Tony a few minutes ago. Of course, he's watching the ball game. Y'all know that. Okay. This is my chili. That's my burrito meat. And what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to open these shells yet. I don't want them, uh, I don't want to get it stale or anything like that. So this is everything that we're going to use right here. All of it right there. Right there, y'all. Right there. And um, more cheese. I got other cheese. I've got this bag of, uh, it's called taco cheese. <laughs> How about that? What I'm going to do with it though, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a container. Because it'll be easier to get to with a spoon out of this container. So I love these little hefty containers. Sam's, did y'all see that? Hefty container Sam's Club. They are, there are, let's see, 30 or 40 of them for something like, seven bucks. I mean, one of the best deals I've seen. So that's our cheese. I'm just going to sit it. Let me sit that cheese about right there. Yeah, it'll sit. I think I'm, let me get something proper under it. 
I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and then we're gonna come back when the kids get here. I'll just go ahead and start rolling um, burritos and fixing tacos. Rolling burritos and fixing tacos. How's that? Okay. I got some. Um, get all this stuff right here. Whew. You know what I wish I had is one of those great, a great big old platter that you can just put everything out there on. And these are my onions. You know we have to have onions. Have to have onions. So those are the raw onions. There is the so this is I put the salsa already in this salsa and um, taco sauce together. We're gonna try this Baja sauce. It's sort of like a mayonnaise base, but it's really, really good, y'all. Okay. And you know what else I've got? I've got some uh, I'm gonna take the uh, ranch. This big old bottle of ranch dressing out right there. I'll put it in a bowl here shortly. But this is all the toppings that we're going to use for these burritos. And honey, they fit. They get, we get ready to do some damage up in here with these tacos and burritos. I mean, I am really, really looking forward to it. Stir that meat up. Whew. So this is our taco burrito Sunday, y'all. That's everything. Everything. That's all of it. In one area. So, let's get it over here for a week. Uh, let, me, let me see. Let, let me see. Let me see. Get the camera right, girl. So, this is what we eat. This is how we're doing it today for Sunday dinner. We got our Peggy's spicy rice. Peggy's uh mozzarella and shredded lettuce salad we got refried beans i forgot to show y'all the refried beans now these were canned they were a brand they were old el paso but y'all know i had the doctor who i had to work on those real much so we're gonna spread that onto the uh flour tortilla and then put our meat inside of it and then of course we got the onions on the back burner back there and this is my homemade chili that I made two weeks ago and I had it frozen, got it out the freezer, heated it up, and we're gonna put that on the burrito. So this is everything that we're gonna use for those burritos and tacos for taco burrito Sunday. So y'all hold on just a minute. I'm gonna wait until the kids get here and then I'll start rolling the burritos. So y'all hang in there with me now. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and sign off right now because I don't want this video to get too long. But just remember to keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing or do something good for someone. Cook some food and invite somebody over or take it to them. And just remember one thing. We all stand in the need of prayer and that we are all sisters and brothers. And we are one in this situation that we're going through the virus pandemic the social unrest people that don't have jobs don't have place to live y'all we just got to continue to pray with our season just pray for one another and love one another and reconcile those differences so that we can get our lives back to where they should be so listen guys y'all keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down love you guys so what I do, do I like okay. roll it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to watch Lauren roll her burrito. She's going to put She's going to put right where well, I help you with the roll. She wants this is your of getting what you want. she got rice on it so far. From that good old seasoned rice. Now she's putting the taco meat. Okay. Now, that is, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't put the tongs on there. We got the tongs to get the lettuce. There we go. So now she's going to load the lettuce on. Okay. 
it's very intrusive. You can put it on the outside once you roll it then. Okay, so we see not Lars loading hers up with everything that's over there. So she got hers and then we're going to pause a minute and watch her okay man man is doing here now you can't put too much in there if you put okay. too much in there you won't be able to roll it okay he's got his meat and his rice going now he's going to get his lettuce going okay now you got the uh, we got all the other condiments over there they Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, onions, and refried beans. Let's see how Lauren does. I want, I want to see you roll yours. We need a drum roll. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Now I see why they. She did it. All right. So that's how you roll up. Okay, man, man. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you got everything on that you want on it. You want something that chili on, or you want to put it on the outside or inside? How you want to do it? You can put it inside. You gonna put it? Okay. Yeah. Just, just, I'm just half your spoon. I should have got a bigger spoon. It's okay. Okay. Now you got everything you want on the cheese, everything. Well, I don't want cheese.